Ben, I wasn't having a go this morning. I, I don't and never will think that you're a coward. Good news, boys. You can dust off your hot pants because the police have said we can reopen the Albert very soon. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and seeing as my tight well grandson has got me to cover for him, why don't we celebrate by getting you both something to eat on pizza? Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. We'll have a look at the menu. We're, we're not eating. Ah, oh, thanks for thinking of us, Mum. That's all right, darling. Any time. Bottling things up like this, Ben, it's only going to make things worse. Look, why don't, why don't we see a counsellor? What? I'm sorry I'm late. Honey insisted on feeding me another slice of cake, and then walking over, there's some sort of fuss with the police at the top of the square. It's uh, lovely to see you again, Pat. Uh, what can I get you? I, I need some air. Well, yes, that's all f fine by me. Yeah, yeah we'll, uh, we'll go over to the park, then. We don't see each other much. Maybe we should just do the two of us, yeah? Right, yeah, yeah, of course. I'll, I'll see you later, then. Are we? Is Pam not staying? No. <sighs> oh, I knew it. I got Bobby moping about the place, because him and Daniel split up, apparently. Not that he tells me anything. And now you and Ben are having a domestic. Then again, Ben could pick a fight at a pacifist convention. It's not that. Ever since those blokes came for us, Ben's been, um... He's shaken up everything that happened with Paul. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, why didn't I think about that? He's really not OK, Kathy, you know? I don't know how to fix it.